hi guys so welcome back so let's dive into the journey on how to sew that beautiful classy and simple casual outfit which I have posted the drafting pattern and so let's dive right into this video now this is the pattern I'll be working with I've cut out my fabric and I made use of a crepe fabric I made use of three yards and this is the black crepe fabric and for the front piece I went ahead to add stay to the front piece and this is a classic classic princess that pattern and to this i've added estate to both fabrics and yes the lining i've added paper stay to the lining and this is also the back fabric which i added paper stay but i was out of paper stay so i had to manage it that is why you can see the paper stay in that manner and this is the back fabric i've added half inches to this side half inches all round half inches on this side but to this side i added two extra inches allowance now down to the front piece i'll be placing it but i usually mark out my bust but i usually notch the bust point on the bust point and the nipple point as this will make it easier when i'm trying to sew it sew the two pieces together so when i place this i make sure those notch points are meeting each other and i would you go ahead to your sewing machine and sew it around this way by half inch and now this is it i'm done sewing each by half inches and you can see this is a classic princess that's like i said so you can see what it is looking like you can see it and you can see i added this for this is the opening and this is what we have this is what you are going to have when you sew that and you also do the same thing to the lining i've also gonna have to use half inch to sew it down as you can see i used half inch to sew it down that is for the joining and this is the lapel you know it has two the first one and the second one the second one which is much longer and i've gone ahead to turn it inside out sorry i didn't make a video of this but this is what it looks like so now we are done now those two lapel which you have which you've turned inside out and you've stitched them the two on each other you go ahead and place it on the fabric one on this side and the other on this side and don't forget that our neckline is asymmetrical so this is what you go ahead and place it on your fabric and just stitch it down by half inch just first stitch it down so i have gone ahead to stitch mine down by half inches as you can see what it is looking like now you go ahead and place the lining on it you gently place the lining this way make sure you carefully place it and each point are meeting both points so now you go ahead and use half inch to join it all around on all sides apart from the arm or you just half inch on all sides so this is what we have by the time you are done joining both the lining and the main fabric together you'll be having this you can see what is looking like you can see the opening at the down now to the back pattern i've gone ahead to add my dots took half inch on both sides for the dots i did the dots on both the fabric and the lining and so now we, after you've added the dots so just go ahead and place the lining on the main fabric the front part facing the front part and you stitch half inch on the neckline half inch round the zip pattern half inch below and half inch round and you use the lining to turn the fabric now i have gone ahead to turn it out and as well iron it now to the two pieces i'll go ahead and add the zipper and don't forget we went half inch inward for the zip pad and that is to avoid zip bulging now you go ahead and place your zip and go and attach it i'll go off camera and attach the zip and this is what is looking like after i'm done attaching the zip now we are done with the back pattern to the front pattern just make sure you go ahead and place that back pattern you place it on the front pattern and make sure it is well placed each point are meeting each point so that so you go to the shoulder and so by half inch half then you take your bust allowance your round measurement on it so now to the sleeves so go ahead and just measure my 14 40 inches for my elbow and the full length is 22 inches for my sleeve length but i'll be adding extra five inches because it is the sleeve is quite very long so this i want mine to be as long as five inches extra and to this place i'll be measuring out nine inches and to get the cap's height i'll measure three and a half 
inches downwards and to the side i'll take three and a half inches so this is what we have now to the side nine i'm marking out nine inches my round spice up is eight plus one that made it nine and this six and a half plus one inch extra inches that's seven and a half and also this leave four and a half plus extra one inches so i'll go ahead and draw out the straight line i'll draw it the sleeve pattern and this is what the sleeve pattern is going to look like and you go ahead and cut out what you have drafted now before doing this there's an opening on the sleeve and your opening can be based based on how wide you want your opening to be for me i want my opening should to be as wide as six inches for the opening if you want just to be five if you want just to be seven for me i want six inches and this is based on preference so now from here i will sew it to this place and this will be the opening now to the sleeve my fabric wasn't enough so i just went ahead to add this net to the midpoint to the middle and that is just so it's just going to be like a design now so this is the sleeve and this is what we have cut out using the sleeve pattern which we have drafted now to the fabric go ahead and make use of your tape rule and measure it all around to the joining to the place you've joined and i have eight inches up approximately about eight and a half inches so i'll go ahead and measure eight and a half inches all through the sleeve and i'll mark that out and go ahead and mark out all the measurement and so down right to that point which i have marked out for the opening so i'm gonna head to so it's join the sleeve before attaching it to the fabric and this is eight inches and remember i use six inches for the opening on the pattern which i've drafted the extra two inches just for the turning in allowance that is two extra inch allowance to fold it because i am not using the lining to turn it now you go ahead and take this sleeve which you have sewn to your material make sure each mid the midpoint of the of the blouse is meeting the midpoint of the sleeve and you notch the midpoint and you go ahead and sew it round by half inch and i've gone ahead to like take my bust measurement and all the round measurements on the blouse and so now to the zip i have not folded it so you go ahead and cut out that point don't forget there's a point that is very ticky cut it out and when you cut it out you go ahead and fold in your zip just this way and stitch on it and you do the same thing for this one cut out that hard point then fold it in and stitch on it now this is what it is looking like after attaching the sleeve and doing all of it so this is what it is looking like i'm just showing you what it's going to look like now to this sleeve this opening that you can see now you go ahead and fold this since i left two inches extra i'll go ahead and fold it i'll fold it inward like this by two inch and on this side i'll also fold it inward by about half inch then i'll fold it inward as so this is the final look of the blouse and this is the sleeve now this this pattern is actually coming out nice even though it's just because my fabric wasn't enough now i'll go ahead and attach this button i'm using a big button you press this big button this cover button so i went ahead to make a cover button and i use this size and you can use any size of cover button this is based on preference and this is how i arrange the button right on the fabric and this is the back of the blouse just to show you what how neat the inside looks like can you see it is neat now this is what it is looking like and now to this i'm going to go ahead and make use of this tiny black bead this bit is quite tiny so i'll go ahead and also make use of this gold bead as well and this is just to give it a stylish look and here is the final look of the outfit and this is what it actually look like i'm sorry i don't have a clear video but this is what it looks like and this is beautiful let me know your thoughts guys thank you for watching this video to the end and i'm sure by now you can make an outfit as beautiful and as classic as that i still remain your fashion and beauty channel love you all.